Welcome to Mission to Mars. In this video, we will computationally determine the trajectory of a spacecraft from Earth to Mars using the Python program available in this course. We have now reached the pinnacle of this MOOC, the calculation of the entire flight from Earth to Mars. In this calculation, the spacecraft flies under the influence of the gravitational force of the Sun, with the gravitational forces of Earth and Mars being much smaller in comparison. That happens, of course, outside these two planets' spheres of influence. This calculation is based on the experience we gained in calculating trajectories around Earth and Mars. In those calculations, we explained that the motion of a spacecraft around a celestial body, like the Sun, may be calculated using four expressions with the following four variables. One, the position R, that is taken to be the distance between the center of the Sun and the center of mass of the spacecraft. Two, radial speed VR, that is the speed of the spacecraft in the radial direction. Three, angular position theta. Four, angular speed omega. That is the rapidity with which the angle theta varies over time. Based on these four variables, the four non-dimensional equations to calculate the motion of this spacecraft around the Sun are the following ones. dr tilde dt equals vr tilde. dvr tilde dt tilde equals r tilde times omega tilde squared minus gm tilde over r tilde squared d theta tilde dt equals omega tilde and d omega tilde dt tilde equals negative 2 times vr tilde omega tilde over r tilde. These expressions are then complemented by the so-called initial conditions, which are the magnitudes of these four variables at the beginning of the space flight. The non-dimensional initial conditions are determined from dimensional magnitudes as follows, with the dimensional variables determined first. From the previous determination of the Hohmann transfer orbit, as mentioned elsewhere in this course, we obtain the following initial conditions. They correspond to departure from point 1 in the Hohmann transfer orbit. R1 equals 149,604,783 kilometers. VR1 equals 0 kilometers per second. Theta1 equals 0 radians. The gravitational parameter GM is the gravitational parameter of the Sun. It has a magnitude of 132,712,000,000. 440,042 kilometers cubed per second squared. The needed non-dimensional quantities are obtained from the following connections between dimensional and non-dimensional quantities. T dimensional equals capital T times T tilde. R dimensional equals capital R times R tilde. VR dimensional equals capital R over capital T times VR tilde. Theta remains equal to theta tilde. Omega dimensional equals 1 over capital T times omega tilde. And GM tilde equals capital T squared over R cubed times GM dimensional. The tilde continues to denote non-dimensional variables. GM tilde can be made much smaller than GM dimensional through a careful selection of the reference time capital T and the reference length capital R, so that capital T squared over R cubed becomes much smaller than 1. The reference length capital R may be chosen to equal the maximum distance. 
between the center of mass of the Sun and the center of mass of Mars. As a consequence, capital R will equal 249,261,000 kilometers. The result for R tilde then becomes the ratio of R dimensional over R as a reference length that provides us with the following result 0,60019, etc. This number is so much smaller than uh, the dimensional R. Next, consider the reference time capital T. This is expressed as the ratio of two times, capital T equals T dimensional over T tilde, which is also equal to the ratio of delta T dimensional over delta T tilde. The non-dimensional time delta T tilde is the time interval that is used in computations. Therefore, it is set to a very small number, for instance, delta T tilde equals 0, 0,0005, that is chosen to obtain accurate computational results. The dimensional time, delta t, is set equal to a fraction of the time taken by the spacecraft to fly from Earth to Mars. This is done in order to obtain a high-resolution solution for one flight. As we have calculated previously, this flight takes 258,88 etc. days. So, let's set delta t dimensional equal to one tenth of a day. Therefore, delta t will equal 0, 0,1 days. As a result, the reference time capital T, which equals the ratio of delta t dimensional over delta t tilde, will equal 200 days. That corresponds to 17,280,000 seconds. Now, with capital R that equals 249,261,000 kilometers and capital T that equals 17,280,000 seconds, the expression for the non-dimensional GM tilde that yields capital T squared over R cubed times a dimensional GM will result in the following number 2,558,79 etc. This number is significantly smaller than the dimensional GM of the Sun which equals 132,712,458,000 440,042 kilometers cubed per second squared. From this process, the non-dimensional initial conditions are found to be equal to the following numbers. The total non-dimensional time for the flight from Earth to Mars is then calculated as follows. T tilde, the non-dimensional time, equals T dimensional over the reference time capital T. That is the ratio of 258,8865024 days over 200 days, which equals 1,294. The non-dimensional computations are then carried out with the non-dimensional time step of delta T tilde that equals 0, 0,0005. With that choice, we will generate 2,589 data points for the complete flight from Earth to Mars. The orbital motion Python program in this course will allow us to solve computationally the four equations presented before under system number seven. The number of equations and the number of parameters are entered in the number of equations and parameters function in this Python program. There are four equations and three parameters. The non-dimensional magnitudes for GM, RP and Omega are then entered in the parameters function. And let's remember that RP signifies the initial R. 
observe how the lines of code in the ODE underscore sys function reflect the four equations that were mentioned previously. The program may then be run. At runtime, the program requests an initial time. We can always set that to zero. The final time is what we calculated before, and that may be set equal to 2,6 units. The time step will be set equal to 0, 0,0005 units, as noted before. Of course, one may select an even smaller time step if one wishes. The program then generates the solution and stores it in an external file named solution.txt. This file may then be post-processed using Excel. We open the solution.txt file in Excel for the purpose of visualizing the solution. In so doing, we obtain the trajectory of the spacecraft from Earth to Mars. As expected, that is elliptical. At any time, the onboard engine on the spacecraft may be ignited to generate an impulsive force that changes the angular speed of the craft. This is modeled within our Python program within the parameters function. Change the magnitude of the angular speed omega and run the program again using the same input as before at runtime. The program generates a new solution.txt file. Open this file in Excel to visualize the new solution. We may obtain a trajectory for a spacecraft that leaves Earth's gravity but may overshoot or undershoot the orbit of Mars, depending on whether we increased or decreased the angular speed omega of the spacecraft. In the next video, we will consider the flight of a spacecraft with a rotating artificial gravity environment. Thank you very much and goodbye. Dankeschön und auf Wiedersehen.